Barim Chbn, also known by his epithet Merbandak, Middle Persian, Mirwandak, was a famous Spobed, senior army commander, during the late 6th century in Persia. He usurped the Sassanian throne from Khosrau II, ruling for a year as Baram VI, 590-591. However, he was later defeated by Khosrau II and was forced to flee. Baram Koban was son of Baram Gushnasp, of the house of Miran, one of the seven Parthian clans of the Sassanian Empire. Baram Koban had three siblings whom were named, Gordiya, Gorduya, and Martin Sina. Rise. Baram Koban originally started his career as Mart Ban of Ray, but in 572 he commanded a cavalry force which captured a Byzantine fortress and was promoted to army chief, Spobed, of Atropatine and Media. After being promoted he fought a long, indecisive campaign against the Byzantines in northern Mesopotamia. In late 588, a massive army of Turks invaded the eastern provinces of the Sassanian Empire, reaching as far as Bajis and Herat. Baram Koban was elected as the Spobed of Khorasan and commander-in-chief to lead 12,000 Sassanian forces against the Turks. After reaching Central Asia his army ambushed a large army of Turks and conquered Balkh. He then crossed the Oxus River and trapped and defeated the Turks near Bokhara, killing the Gokturk Bagha slash Yabgukagan with an arrow. The Turkic forces is said to have outnumbered his troops 5 to 1. After his great victory against the Turks he was sent to Caucasus to repel an invasion of nomads, possibly the Hazars. Baram was once again victorious. Baram Koban was then made commander of the Sassanian forces against the Byzantines once again, and successfully defeated a Byzantine force in Georgia. However, he later suffered a minor defeat by an Byzantine army on the banks of the Araxes River. After his defeat Hormized IV disgraced him, he removed Baram Koban from the Sassanian office. Thus, he along with the main Persian army, rebelled against the Shah and marched toward Tesiphon. Hormized was killed and his son, Khosrau II, unable to fight such an army, fled to Byzantine territory and Baram sat on the throne as great king, Shah, of Persia. Hormized IV tried to organize an effective resistance against Baram Koban. The Sassanian aristocracy, however, did not support him. Not even the religious leaders did. Hormized IV responded by imprisoning many Sassanian nobles, however, it did not make the situation better, because the Sassanian aristocracy revolted against him and freed the imprisoned nobles. Hormized IV was blinded and Khosrau II became king, however, Baram Koban wanted the throne for himself, he defeated the army of Khosrau II around the Zagros Mountains, capturing his uncle Vindiyat. However, Khosrau II and his uncle Vistam managed to escape. Vindiya later managed to escape from his prison and fled over to Khosrau II. Reign. Vindiya was sent with a large army granted by the Byzantine Emperor Maurice. They went to Armenia to outflank Baram, who was defeated in the lowlands and lost Tesiphon. He retreated to Azerbaijan and then wrote a letter to Musel II Mamikanian, an Armenian Spobet who was helping Khosrau II, the letter said, As for you Armenians who demonstrate an unseasonable loyalty, did not the house of Sasan destroy your land and sovereignty? Why otherwise did your fathers rebel and extricate themselves from their service, fighting up until today for your country? Baram Koban in his letter promised that the Armenians would become partners of the Sassanian Empire ruled by a Parthian dynastic family if he accepted his proposal to betray Khosrau II. Musel, however, rejected the offer. Khosrau II's army then marched towards Azerbaijan and defeated Baram Koban at the Battle of Blurathon, forcing him to flee to the eastern parts of Persia. While Baram Koban was fleeing to the east he defeated a Karan army and later arrived in Fergana where he was received honorably by the Khakan of the Turks. Khosrau II, however, could not feel secure as long as Baram Koban lived, and succeeded in having him assassinated. The remainder of Baram's troops returned to northern Iran and joined the rebellion of Vistam which took place in 590-1596 or 594-5600. The fate of his family. After Baram's death, his sister Gordiya traveled to Khorasan where she married Vistam, 
who during that time was like Baram, also rebelling against Kos Rautu. She later killed the latter and joined Kos Rautu who took her as his wife. Baram had three sons named Shapur, Miran Baram I Chubin, and Nashrad. Shapur continued to oppose the Sassanians, and later joined the rebellion of Vistam. After the end of the rebellion, Shapur was executed. Miran is mentioned in 633 as the head of a Sassanian army, and fought against the Arabs during the Arab invasion of Persia. Not much is known about Nashrad, except that he had a son named Togmuth, whose descendants would later form the Samanid dynasty. Legacy There are many fables attributed to Bahram VI, as is the normal for many heroes in Persian literature. The chapters in Volume 8 of Ferdowsi's 11th century Shahnameh on the reigns of Hormizd, son of Khosroi, and Khosro Perviz, both of which are almost as much about Bahram Koban as about Hormizd or his son. Following the collapse of the Sassanian Empire, the Samanid dynasty formed of descendants of Bahram Koban, became one of the first independent Persian dynasties.